I suppose um, so. What you guys have is obviously this 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 software, this application. Uh, yes. User what makes automated purchases. They provide euros into uh, bank accounts set up by you guys. I'm imagining, or, or, or straight to your liquidity so provider bank accounts. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, um, go ahead. No, no. We we to reply. We we do use a, a broker. So basically, mm -hmm. it is. Uh, so we provide, as I said, the technology, the solution, and uh, you know we allow this uh, to perform this, those purchases, and. Uh, uh, we rely on a broker to, of course, provide us the, the back end, I would say, the back end uh, services. Uh, right. I think another thing that is important to know, it's, uh, we, yeah, we own absolutely the technology. But as I said, we are no financial uh, institution. So we do not, uh, you know, uh, provide any uh, financial advisory or anything like that. So, so just to make sure I got it right. So obviously, you guys have the software um, that, that basically sits on top of the, the, the broker. Uh, yes. My understanding, they would probably use like various liquidity providers, one or two or something like that, maybe more to obtain the best pricing at any time, or they have a float or something exactly. that they use to get their service going. Okay. So there's obviously the, there's, there's, there's whatever charge there is for the broker. And then there's obviously the small charge for using your service because it's automated exactly. and simple and clean. Okay. That makes sense. Exactly. Like, That's exactly the flow. Exactly. Is the big hippie app like a wallet, like you custody it within the app or do you have integrations with like hardware wallets like Ledger or Trezor? A bit KP, it's not uh, conceived to be uh, a wallet application, but of course we needed a wallet because when you enter, let's say the user experience of the application, you have two possible, uh, you have two possible ways, right? You can buy Bitcoin on an existing wallet or you can buy Bitcoin in a wallet that you can create with the application, okay? So to reply to your question, yes, there is also the, the full end-to-end, -end, you know, wallet uh, uh, feature within the application, but you can also purchase directly on external wallet. You can, you know, you can import an existing one. I mean, it's, it's, totally, it's totally up to you, but in order, it's more in order to provide the service of purchasing Bitcoin, we had to create the, almost the almost the full fledged wallet uh, uh, within the application. Yes, it's interesting what you guys have done. Like, I like that you have essentially like really because I think a lot of a lot of um, people when they have an idea, they'll create they have this idea, they'll create like a solution for it, um, but they'll kind of often muddy the waters and and kind of say I, I could imagine that because what you guys have done you've, you've created the, the the software the technology and instead of being like hey let's be our own brokerage and plug directly into liquidity providers and deal with that side of things which from my own personal experience i can tell you mm. is pretty damn difficult to do yeah. <laughs> um and there's a long is a, a full-time job for many people um mm. then you've literally just gone you know we'll we'll our service itself is worth someone paying that slight extra for we'll, we'll, we'll literally just partner up with brokerage or brokerages or whatever um, so I think it's pretty smart the way the way you've done things, to be honest. And then to then set, focus in on just like one thing um, that really is, you know, the thing uh, that you think your customers want, which clearly they do, which is automated buys. I suppose my question here that coming out of this is what's your kind of, what would you say is your guys' like end vision or goal? Like, uh, because, you know, I imagine you've got a, yes. ideas, yes, right, we, in your head. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, so to be totally... Uh, uh, transparent with you. I mean, we are a lot about uh, full transparency. We are no, not ashamed of our ideas. Our end goal is really to provide uh, a, a mass service for, you know, stacking uh, Bitcoin. And to be honest, when we created the startup at the start, you know, at the very start, our target was, um, and it still is very much, a user that is not at all advanced on the technology. You know, it can be the man of the street. I mean, in our understanding, we thought, okay, why for people that are not, uh, that have not spent, uh, you know, a lot of time discovering these topics, you know, understanding what Bitcoin is, why it has to be so difficult? Because maybe there are people, <laughs> at least this is what we believe, that just want to adopt the technology and the barrier, I call it the barrier to the entry of, you know, understanding the technology is so high. So the, I would say the ultimate mission of BitKeepy is to bring this, you know, barrier at entry, uh, to bring it down, to bring it, uh, very, to, in fact, 
one of the things that we are not good at, that, but that we thought we would do, is to provide also educational content. We worked, we wanted to host, but we haven't done yet. We wanted to provide educational content, and that, and that is why um, uh, you know we are so glad when we receive this type of invitation because because you guys, are, you know, I mean, there's no better way than openly speak about 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 these topics uh, to really make them accessible to the many. So that's really the, the ultimate vision. Uh, we do not have like any specific uh, uh, financial service uh, direction. I mean, we, of course, it would be more interesting for us to become our own broker. That's another thing that we are thinking about. Because of course, if we become our own broker, we can make the service much more um, sharp, you know, uh, even competitive. Uh, but at the moment, the main vision still is uh, to bring this barrier down and allow everyone uh, allow their, fin their, their let's say uh, ability to stack uh, to stack uh, uh, Bitcoin on their own. So that's that's really the vision. Beginner friendly, I, I suppose, and 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 that itself is good anyway. Like I can tell you right now, being dead certain, honestly, like if this was something that was in the UK, and again, you've got this like no KYC up to whatever value, I mm -hmm. genuinely would start probably using it next week because it's just. <laughs> That's all That's I all cool. I want is like I can't be asked with like like my Binance, my Coinbase or whoever. Yeah. Like it's just easy. If I had just an app where literally I just like it's very simple. I just go, I want to buy this much on these days or whatever, and then just That's bink you know, where you go. Exactly. And it goes straight into my uh my wallet, then that nah, you've won me over like hands down, basically. So that's my thoughts on it we'll do our yeah. best to be in as many countries as we can, of course. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. No, that's uh, fine. Yeah, Jerry, go ahead. Sorry, mate. Uh, do you believe in the free market? Do I believe that that uh, question? That uh, maybe difficult. What, what can you can you can you be more specific? Do you believe you know letting people you know do let the market basically regulate itself and you know, let people do what they want with their money? That is that's how I understand. Mm. If I had I the asked answer, this, I asked this because uh, on your website you say Bitcoin only. So for instance, you have let's say you have a bunch of customers saying. Hey, I want to dabble into some, you know, shit coins and you know, do some Ethereum or awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> And would you let them? I know you have you focus on Bitcoin only, but would you give them the the choice to let them make their own financial financial you know, decisions while you just let them use your tools? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, in terms of uh, uh, Bitcoin only versus uh, other. Uh, you know, cryptocurrencies. I mean, uh, as long as I'm part of the company, the company will be Bitcoin only. Just because, uh, I mean, at least, so I, I'm, I, I'm not gonna, I mean, the, the, in, the vision, the, in the vision, there's no opening up to other type of cryptocurrencies today. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, uh, that's as long as me is part, as I am part of the guy, as I'm there. Um, but why? Because I think, you know, the message of uh, Bitcoin is so much, I would say, uh, diluted by all the noise that is around everything else. And uh, I'm not being a, too much of a really maximalist here, but it's really a matter of saying, you know, let's focus on one thing, let's do it right. Let's not get, you know, uh, creative. Also, we do not have the internal resources to take care of everything. So it's not really, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an in-principle choice, but it's also... Uh, a, a pragmatic choice, you know. No, so, so, so that's the answer to that question. In terms of the free market, you know, uh, I, if I had the answer to this question, I mean, I would not keep uh, uh, studying all the things that I'm studying. I mean, uh, but yes, generally speaking, I think uh, uh, full self-regulation of the market is, uh, is 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 has a lot of advantages, but also there are some things that, uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to find an answer to in in a fully self. Uh, uh, in a fully autonomous and self-regulated market, so it's a very big, uh, big debate. I mean, <laughs> we, I, I don't, I don't have a clear answer to be honest. Yes, I prefer to say, I prefer to say this way. But on the other cryptos, yes, I do have. We are Bitcoin only. I will stay Bitcoin only until I'm there. Uh, what about Lightning support? Is it just on chain, or are you guys planning on adding Lightning support at some yeah. point? Yeah, difficult and very important question. If we were able, I mean, that's. A huge potential for us and that's something we want to work on uh, without any doubt but it does require uh, an effort a very big one it requires a deeper re-architecturing and restructuring of our solution um, technically i mean development wise 
Uh, and at the moment, uh, I don't think we have a lot of resources to, to achieve that, but it's definitely something we would be looking into. Um, today, not available. Today, on-chain only. Something which um, I guess comes to mind because of, uh, again, my own experiences. Uh, have you guys had to deal with, uh, I'd be interested to know, and obviously you don't have to tell me, um, mm -hmm. but have you guys had to deal with any kind of scammers or anything so far right like have you had any or, or have you or, and and or have you had any requests from any uh government bodies or anyone like that actually saying hey like you know this this dodgy ass person potentially tried to use your services or has used your services like have you had any anyone looking at you like that like under a, a microscope yeah, yeah so, or anything? so these are two questions the same one so uh, uh, uh scammers and uh is one thing in let's say illegal or or non-compliant activities is another thing so about the scammers so yes a lot and to be honest it is so annoying that uh, you know again this is noise that is diluting the potential of the bitcoin technology it's awful basically i mean it's really a pain because then it creates also within the different communities a lot of skepticism a lot of you know a lot of uh, diffidence ah, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna and and that's so bad for the technology and so i i, I we are really like uh, very much uh, uh, aware of uh, a scammer and we make a lot of effort to to keep them away from our activities in terms of illegal and uh, let's say non-compliant of course we cannot disclose any uh, specific detail but of course this situation occur and we take them very 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 seriously first of all we have a there's a legal obligation that if we find anything suspicious that we need to you know we need to uh, to deal with it uh, according to the to you know to the law um that's 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 the reality i mean uh, that's the reality but to be honest we haven't had that many situations where we had, uh, you know, we really had to, to intervene. And also to be totally transparent with you, uh, it is a lot of work that is done on the broker side because again, we are not a financial institution. So, so that due diligence is a lot done on the, on the broker side. So all in all, some cases, but so far so good on the side of the non-compliance and, and uh, illegal activity. On the side of scammer, unfortunately, it's been a lot, a lot. <laughs> I, I I expected that again. From, uh, not does not yeah, surprise yeah. me from uh, what yeah. I've seen in the past. Uh, I suppose obviously okay. when it when it comes to things like uh, customer support, I assume you guys run your customer support, and then obviously if the issue is relating to your side of things, the software, etc., then you're going to deal with that. If the issue relates to a broker related, then obviously I'm I'm assuming you're going to liaise with the broker on behalf of the customer and and resolve it. Uh, so we have a deep integration with our broker, um, and uh, we are doing this triage as you described in customer support we take care of customer support we reply as fast as we can to all our uh, beloved uh, users and uh, as soon as the problem is not on our side we make sure that we patch them we patch the problem and we have a sla so you know we have a response times that we have agreed on with our broker to allow the service to be reliable of course gotcha no, that's cool okay and i, I guess like completely switching the the uh the topic a little bit but um but it's something i'm interested in i'm sorry i've got so many questions but i i, I find it really oh, that's cool i mean i love it guys... and uh, again thank you i mean it's it's so it's so nice that you guys are interested in our, our services ah, cool. so um, please go ahead yeah as i say i mean obviously you guys are europe only at the moment which makes complete sense um because you're not just going to try and dominate the world immediately from the beginning uh, and you may not even want to at all uh, but i suppose when it comes into expansion of countries i mean obviously things like the regulations surrounding kyc and stuff like that is probably mm. going to hold you back in in, in various territories in usa is yes. one brazil is one yes but like what um what what it what is your kind of i suppose if you if you're, if you're talking idea the the general idea i understand what that is what is your like roadmap are you looking to kind of are you guys prioritizing kind of creating more services surrounding your your goal model or are you more prioritizing expansion into other territories would you say i guess is the question I'm, I'm uh, I, I would i would say that our priority is um, is definitely the one of uh, rolling out the same service to uh, multiple territories more than what than what we covered today uh, but we know that as you said 
in some of them will never be able to roll out the service as is. You know, because as you said, maybe those territories have other requirements and we leave uh, those type of challenges for a phase of the startup where we're going to be a little bit more mature. Because one thing you need to know, I mean, we launched the product in December uh, past year. So we are only on, we are only live since uh, uh, what uh, four months in April? Yeah, four months in April. Let's say or three months to three full complete months to say, to say it this way. So to be honest, I, those type of expansion, changing the feature, enriching the product, adding other services that requires more backup, that requires more resources. Today again, it's just uh, two people. Uh, so it's uh, uh, it, for sure we need uh, we need investment in that sense. But we don't. At the same time, that's a very interesting topic. I'm not sure we want to get hooked up. Let's say in in um, very strong investment. So we if we found if we find an investor, it has to be also uh, an investor on the on the you know on the mission of the company, not just the you know not just capital. You know, it has to be also. Uh, knowledge it has to be aligned with our values otherwise we would not go for it because again we are not we are doing it for the for the passion we're not doing it uh, you know uh, for any other specific reason so yeah i don't know if i was able to reply to your question and then of course there are some other ideas that we have on completely different type of services for instance more uh, b2b to to companies not uh, so we we we, we thought uh, that's maybe a service that we're gonna uh, that we're gonna work on. We thought that it would be super interesting to help companies actually uh, do. Of course, we would do that operating with a different brand, operating with a different set of services. But a lot of companies are interested in storing value in this way um, as an investment, but they do not have the internal competencies to do it. So you know that's something that we could, could provide as a service. Yes. Mm -hmm.